Hi, welcome to Lakshmi Study Room. Today our topic is nutrition. So nutrition chapter is a first chapter in tenth class biology textbook. In this video, our learning concepts of importance of nutrition, modes of nutrition, and difference between the autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition, and examples of different types of nutrition and importance of photosynthesis. So all these concepts we should learn clearly in this video. The first one is importance of nutrition. So what is nutrition? So nutrition means intake of nutrients will be called as a nutrition. So where nutrients are present and what are nutrients? So nutrients are present in our food. So nutrients are nothing but a, it is a chemical compounds which are present in our food like carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fats all these are nutrients which were present in our food so food is needed by each and every organisms for their growth and development and repair of the cells and to maintain body temperature so for all these things we need food so food is needed by several organisms from single cellular organisms like paramecium amoeba to multicellular organisms like human beings also and even the wide variety of food substances needed by various types of cells in human beings and mode of nutrition is different from cell to cell and organism to organism so mode of nutrition there are two types of nutrition but the first one is a autotrophic nutrition and the second one is a heterotrophic nutrition auto means self that means these organisms they can prepare self tropic means feeding that means these organisms are self feeding organisms that means these organisms prepare their own food by using the factors like carbon dioxide sunlight water and chlorophyll so by using all these factors plants can prepare their own food so autotrophs examples for autotrophs are plants and photosynthetic bacteria so these organisms do not dependent on other organisms for their growth and development because it has a capacity to synthesize food from the inorganic compounds and heterotrophic nutrition so these organisms do not have a capacity to make a food for their own that means these organisms dependent on other organisms for their growth and development these organisms do not have a chlorophyll so that's why these organisms do not have a capable to prepare the food so examples for heterotrophic nutrition are animals and fungus and so many so except plants and photosynthetic bacteria all these living organism directly or indirectly dependent on autotrophs that is plants only so this is about the autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition then importance of photosynthesis so photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means preparation by using sunlight all the plants prepare their own food so photosynthesis during the photosynthesis process food is prepared for all the living organisms hence photosynthesis will be called as a universal food provider and not only universal food provide it was a universal oxygen provide for all the living organisms because oxygen will be released during photosynthesis process only so what is photosynthesis in the presence of sunlight plants prepare their own food by using carbon dioxide water and sunlight so and chlorophyll so by using all the factors the plants can prepare their own food so plants have only capacity to perform photosynthesis then types of heterotrophic nutrition so modes of nutrition that means based on the preparation of food that is two types that is autotroph and heterotroph so depending on the availability of food or intake of nutrients into their bodies these type of nutrition nutrition are three types that is saprophytic nutrition and parasitic nutrition and holozoic nutrition so let us learn clearly this types of nutrition in this video clearly the first one is a 
saprophytic nutrition saprophytes these organisms otherwise will be called as a saprophyte so saprophytes are dependent on dead and decaying organisms for their food so these are the natural cleaners on the earth so where the dead and decaying organisms there these organisms go and uh, they will be decompose and they will be mix into the soil with the help of saprophytes only so these organisms break down outside the and the food material should be the food material should be break down outside the body and then absorbed by the saprophytes and examples for these organisms are mushrooms fungus bread mold yeast and rhizopus so these are the saprophytes so next one is a parasitic nutrition so parasitic uh, nutrition in this nutrition these parasites are dependent on other organisms for their uh, food habits but they did not kill the particular organism for example i have already told you cascuta all the plants are photosynthesis they can perform photosynthesis and they can prepare their own food they cannot dependent on other organisms for their food but this is a cascuta is a parasitic plant it dependent on other plants for their growth and development because it don't have a chlorophyll to absorb the sunlight to capture the sunlight but that's why the cascuta plant did not prepare their own food and leeches leeches will suck the blood from the cattle and lice also which were present in our hay it can suck the blood from us but the we the lice did not kill us and tape form it is a intestinal and parasite it is also sucks the food digested food from the tenias tenias patients so these are all the parasitic nutrition and the third one is a holozoic nutrition it was completely different from uh, saprophytic nutrition mm, saprophytes are uh, they break down the food material outside the body and absorb it but these holo holo means completely they can these organism can take the whole food material into their mouth and break down into the inside their body and absorb by their digestive enzymes examples for holozoic nutrition are amoeba paramecium and human beings so all these are different types in heterotrophic nutrition so thank you thank you for watching this video please like my videos and share my videos to your friends subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you